TFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here for the noon time. This is Tuesday, July the 20th. Market update. This time yesterday, the Dow was down huge. Today, it's up huge. It's up 607 points at 34,569. And what's really important about this is that the gap down open yesterday, we're above that. If we can see the, the Dow trading at 34,620, that says that there's a chance that we could, uh, the low that was made yesterday, I'm calling an internal low, with a chance that we at some point make an arch formation and do a retest within a week or two. We'll see. In the meantime, back at the ranch, you look at the S&P. The Dow is up 1.8%. Uh, the S&P is up 1.5%, up 66 at 4325. It has now actually filled the gap from, what was it, today is uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, from Friday's low to the gap yesterday. Now we fill that gap. This is very good, very good action. Look at the QQQ, one, two, three, there we go. QQQ trading at also has filled the gap. It's up 3.73, up 1% at 358.43. Good actions just right at resistance level. We'll see if it's able by later in the day. Instead of the market starting to give back some of those gains, we'll see if we can get into the 30, 360 area. IWM is actually the one that has the best percentage performance right now, 3%. Of course, it's the one that was damaged the most on the way down. So 218 up 6.37. Good action. It needs to get to 219 to 221 this week to say, hey, I'm kind of done at this at this phase going down, going to have a decent rally. And the and gold is down now. It's down uh, one at 1808. It's really struggling here. But if you look at the dollar, the dollar is actually acting very well. The dollar is at a new recovery high, 93.12 on the dollar index, up 23 ticks. Very nice action here. It's getting very close to the 93.48, 93.52 strong resistance area. We'll see what happens there. The TLT has had a spectacular upside move earlier on. Now it's down $1.50 at 149. We'll see if yields, looks to me like yields could start to uh, slowly move down. We'll see if that's going to occur. And crude oil, which was a big bugbear just recently, is pulling back very sharply, has pulled back. Now it's up 80 cents down to the 67 levels. It was at 76, just on the 6th of July. Sergio Valeri Pesmento coming up and great programming here at TFNM and signing off, Basil Chapman. Hope to see you tomorrow for my Tiger Technicians Hour at 10 a.m.